Danny Bayard from Club Raymond Spotlight on location with Dr. Rosmi Appel. And we are in this fabulous facility. What do you call this facility? Well, it, it, the whole complex is called the hangars. Uh -huh. So we, it's uh, multiple units here. Uh, all the owners uh, own a unit to um, collect their, basically. Collect their, their cars. Their, the cars, yeah. I'll tell you what, we talked about social distancing, we did the tape measure thing, we're CDC guideline approved, and I gotta tell you, before we go talking about your automobiles, I've heard of your practice, it's very large, I understand you employ like 35 people, tell us about your dentistry practice. Uh, well, yeah, I've been practicing dentistry for about uh, 19 years now. Uh, our office is called Perfect Smile Dentistry and Big Smile Dentistry, so okay. we have two, two offices, two different names. And what do you um, specialize in? We are general dentists. Uh, we see kids from three uh, all the way up, and we do all aspects of dentistry. So if I need a root canal or uh, anything in general um, dentistry, I'm you the guys guy do for it. That. And you've got so. 35 staff. How many dentists altogether? Uh, between the three offices, we have five uh, dentists right now. Okay. And, and we have one specialist actually that does implants as well in our office. Now I've always heard that weekends are a challenge with dentists. We are actually open every Saturday. All three offices are open Saturdays. So we accommodate emergencies and uh, any issues that you may have on the weekends. We are open. That's fabulous. We do actually also have our own on-site lab. So if you have any emergencies that need you know, immediate fixing, we're there for you. I checked your Google ratings. They're way up there. I don't know if they can get any higher. Well, I, I hope we keep it that way. <laughs> so listen, if you need a dentist, right there on the screen are all the, uh, is the information with the website about the dentistry. But we're not here to talk about dentistry. We're actually here to talk about a fabulous collection of BMW automobiles. How did this come about? I, I, I'm, I'm literally awed. Uh, everything is car related. We got beautiful M furniture. We've got a clock on the wall with wheels that we're going to take a look at in a, in, in a few minutes. But tell me about these automobiles. Describe them a little bit and let the audience relish in them. Well, um, BMWs have been always my favorite cars. Uh, since I was a little kid, my dad had a, a 318. Um, and the funny thing about it, the front windows were power and the back windows were all <laughs> manual. So weird, but, and I love that car. It was blue and, and since then I always developed this passion for BMWs. Uh, so I, I start looking basically for all the cars that were, uh, that were rare. And my first car was a Z8. Ah. Uh, that I, my wife loves that car. It's what year? Things. It's a, it's a 2001. Okay, so actually the first year, I believe, of that. Yeah, well, 2000, 2000 was the first, was first? Year. Okay. Yeah. So they made them from 2000 to 2003. Okay. Uh, so, and that was kind of my favorite car from the beginning. Uh, I cherished it. I kept it by itself in the garage. And is that the car we have right here? Absolutely. On display? Yep. That's okay. why it's up there on the, on the... It's the number one. Yep. So we keep it up there above all others. So let's go in, in order of preference. So your preference, your number one love is that Z8. What's next? The second one is actually a 1972 3.0 CS. Uh -huh. I don't have it here because it is at the shop being restored. Uh, it's been a seven year project that I- Seven years? Seven years. What's been the challenge of that uh, project? Well, I didn't want to do a basic restoration, just cosmetics from the outside. I wanted to bring the car back to the way it came out from the factory. So wow. it, it was, it basically was stripped down to the bare metal and it's being put together. I can't wait to see that one. What's your third? The third one is actually an Alpina. Um, it's an eight series. It's a 1992 Alpina. Um, they made only 97 worldwide. And I have the only one in the United States. Wow, that's so. something to cry yeah. boasting about. So. Okay, and uh, then we the, go from there to? The, after that, uh, it's sister car, which is basically uh, same version, eight series, a 1994. It's an 850 CSI. Okay. Uh, that's basically the M at that time, the M version of BMW. Before they came out with the M, that's what they used to call them. 850 CSI or all the CSIs were basically the M cars. All right. Uh, from there, I go to my 
kind of little uh, toy car, which is the Z1. I love that car. Yeah, it's it's a uh, it's a fun car. Uh, the windows kind of go down into mm -hmm. the body, so it's uh, uh, most people when they see it, they're like, "Where do the doors go?" They kind of go down into the body. Do you ever body. take that car for a drive in the street? Uh, I haven't taken that car out because that car is a 1990 and only has 187 miles. Wow. So, 187 miles on it. a 1990, yep. 30 year old car. Yep. Incredible. Yeah. So, that's that a gem. was a, a, a find that I could not pass. I'm like, I have to have that car because it is not just a classic car, but also a future collectible car. It certainly looks like it. So, yeah, it's sure. brand new. The plastic's still on the mats, actually. So, incredible. Where do yeah. we go from there? From there, we go to my recent purchase that I have, which is an M4 GTS, which I actually just uh, acquired that from Bremen. That's right. Uh, so uh, it's a, uh, just starting the car is amazing. Just to see, to hear the engine roar, it's it's unbelievable. So uh, that's, uh, one day I would like to take it on the track and see how the car performs. And what do you drive daily? Uh, my daily driver is an M8 competition. Uh -huh. um, it's, it's unbelievable the power that car has. Uh, I never push it on the streets. I am one of those people, yes, I do have these cars, but I don't abuse the roads. Well, you uh, know what you have to do is you have to take it to our Club Bremen track events. Uh, I'm not sure if uh, you heard, but we have a professional race car driver. And when we resume our events, it, you're welcome to take it there. That's great. And also, by being a performance driver for Club Bremen, Every Wednesday, we're at the Palm Beach International Raceway. So be our guest, and that goes for anybody out there that has a competition sports car from Bremen. We're at the racetrack every Wednesday. Freddie Rimrav, our professional driver, is there, and he'll give you tips that you'll for sure. I actually look forward to that because I part of the car I got the M driving uh, package. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So I'm, I can't wait until I go to South Carolina to do that one day uh, driving course that they do. Uh, unfortunately, it got postponed because of all the COVID, so I'm hoping that next year I'll be able to go ahead and do it. You'll love it for sure. Maybe take my son and the family and, and have them join me as well. That's so. great. That's great. Club Bremen members, I'm sitting with Razmi, and this has been a pleasure. Uh, I'm, I'm at a loft looking over fabulous uh, automobiles. I, I can't even imagine having all these automobiles uh, in my own collection. Uh, the setup is great, the, the living room is fabulous, a big screen TV. I mean, this is really nice. I congratulate you. Uh, it, it's got to be great. It, I mean, this is, you know, something I always want to have. I would love to have had this in my own house, mm -hmm. but, you know, space is always an issue. Right. So finding a place like this, the hangar, it was good because it's not just having the cars here, but also we have the social aspects of it. Everyone here is a car collector, right. so we have events where we do things. Uh, we just recently actually just came from Homestead where we had a track day and everyone kind of brought a car and we were on the track just ourselves having a good time. That's fabulous. So, That's fabulous. Yeah. Club Bremen members, another wonderful Club Bremen member that uh, I've interviewed. Uh, from uh, the Smiles, tell me about the practice again. The Perfect Smile Perfect Dentistry Smiles and Dentistry. Big Smile Dentistry. And the car lover of BMWs. We'll see you next time, Danny Bayard on location.